still looking for that last minute summer getaway bargain? When it comes to vacation deals that sound too good to be true, it's tempting to jump. But do you really get what you pay for? Earlier this summer, ABC's Lindsay Davis went to find out and learned how the reality can be a little different from your expectations in tonight's Nightline Investigates. Oh, the beach looks great. Look at the water. It certainly didn't that. look like what I would consider a tough assignment. So here are the rooms. Not too bad. You're about to leave me again. Just got back from honeymoon. I hadn't even unpacked from my honeymoon. When a day later, a little snorkel gear. there I was heading for a beach hotel in the Dominican Republic. We were about to learn it's possible to go a bit too far off the beaten path when we booked a Groupon coupon for a hotel stay that would go from sketchy to scary in less than 48 hours. Groupon is trusted for its quality discounts and signature getaways. A 10-day tour of Machu Picchu, two romantic nights at Niagara Falls, a six-day wine tour of northern Italy. You find great reviews for all of them, but tucked away among them was the deal we booked. Two nights in a junior suite at the all-inclusive Don Juan Beach Resort in a small town called Boca Chica. Don Juan Beach Resort. Here we are. As we check in, I try to make sure I was getting the room I was promised on Groupon. Yes. I think it's a junior suite. Right. Yes. Groupon had claimed that Eric and I were getting 44% off on our rooms, junior suites, each for $173 a night. But my other producer, Osrin, he booked a deluxe room directly through the hotel for $150 a night. But when we got to our rooms... It's the Dominican Republic edition of Cribs. So welcome to my junior suite. Not. I mean, they say this is a junior suite, but it's actually the same exact room that Osrin, who's traveling with us, has. And in fact, we actually paid more than Osrin did. Same bathroom, same two beds. I don't know, did you have the heart in the towels on your bed? Maybe that's what made it a junior suite. And we paid more. You have pretty much the same view. Right, because I don't even have a sink. No, I got a sink. My room is a little bit bigger, but it's not, It's definitely not a junior. But this is a junior suite. Sweet. Is what they're saying, yeah. Right. Still puzzled, we headed off to the Don Juan beachfront. The beach is public, not private, and the vendors are non-stop. Yeah. No, thank you. No, gracias. No, gracias. No? No, 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 Everybody down here on the beach is selling something, and normally you can see their wares, you know, whether it's uh, CDs or peanuts or towels, but people who are just walking around clearly selling something, but they don't have a product. Well, actually, they did. You can literally buy sex on the beach here. And I'm not talking about the cocktail, as we soon learned from a young man on the beach who caught my attention. I'm just going to talk to you. And so while it took an hour to check in, within 15 minutes of settling into our lounge chairs, okay. we're deep into a conversation about having this woman spend a little quality time with Osra. Uh, and this is Oz. Uh, her name is Carolina. He says he's her brother. $90 for what, for two days? For one, for one day, and for 24 hours. Yes, okay. Right. Earlier at the front desk, we'd asked whether we should be worried about prostitution, which is legal in the Dominican Republic. I read some reviews online that they talked about like prostitution being a problem in this area. Is that? Have you heard of that at all? It's not here. It's in, not in, in, the, in the street. In the street. Okay. She told us about the street, but didn't mention the sand. Thank you very much. Okay. We never did meet up with Carolina or her brother. But that night at the Hotel Fiesta, we observed as some of the hotel guests mingled with the Don Juan staff, including this woman. Earlier, we'd spotted her handing out the Don Juan beach towels. But now, after this staff member's wardrobe malfunction, the guest she was with bought her a drink, she changed her clothes, and they left. 
Speaking of towels, I could have used a few extra that night when I turned down my bed covers. So I just pulled back uh, the comforter. There's a hair in the bed that's not mine. That's not really what bothers me most. It's this stain on the sheets. That is kind of a problem. As for the sounds from the next room, we can't let you hear all of it, but if we could, this would be the soundtrack. All right, it is now three o'clock in the morning. I have very loud neighbors. It is loud outside, and because of the state of the mattress, I'm sleeping or trying to sleep in a rather precarious position. I have uh, my feet down by the headboard, and then instead of using the blanket, I'm trying to cover myself up with some pants that I brought. And then rather than sleep anywhere with the comforter on me, I have two pillows down here. And then it leads to um, where I've tried to create a pillow out of uh, the lumpy clothes in my suitcase. So this is how I'm gonna try and sleep um, for at least a few more hours. I'm very concerned about being able to sleep here I know. another night I can because see. it's like I could not get any. There was, it wasn't just the noise, like right. of the music and the loud neighbors. It was like the stain. I know, the bed. I know, I know, I know. It's bad, Lindsay. That's not a good stain. <laughs> Prostitution was hard to get away from. While Osrin was out getting shots of the hotel sign on the Don Juan property, he was approached by this guy. Tengo la chica. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful lady. Beautiful. Osrin gave him the brush off. Maybe later. I have no time. Though. Okay, what time? I don't know. But soon, our team would see just how easy it was to get lured into a more dangerous situation here in Boca Chica. How much longer? Don't be. 